Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to turn a Wii Fit balance board into a more practical golf training device and all we're going to need is a simple Bluetooth adapter from Best Buy. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need of course is a Bluetooth adapter if our computer doesn't have Bluetooth wireless. I use this ASUS USB BT500 module from Best Buy for about $20. Next up is our software that includes a driver to make the Wii balance board behave as a gamepad. Link in the description. Because this driver is unsigned, we'll need to temporarily disable driver signature verification in Windows. If your version of Windows is not 64-bit, you won't need to do this. Now that we have the software, let's go ahead and unzip it, and then we're going to run the control center. We'll need to enable test mode, install the certificate, and install the device driver. If you encounter this error, you can just run the DP install executable that will install the driver itself. Go ahead and click next and install and accept. Without this driver, the Wiimote will not work. Once you're finished, go ahead and reboot your machine. Once the machine's restarted, go ahead and rerun the control center. You should get this new user interface. Right click your Bluetooth icon and then select join personal network. Then select add a device. Inside of your Wii's battery compartment, there should be a red synchronize button. Press that and then the Wii board should now show up in the device to be added. Select the Wii board and hit next without hitting a pin. The device should now install. If everything went correctly, the battery status indicator should now update in the user program. Let's test our new gamepad out. I'm using this Rocket League Dead Zone Visualizer to look at the X and Y coordinates of the controller. Even though I'm pressing on one side, it is showing up as if it were a gamepad for Windows. To re-enable driver verification, simply run the control center, go to the installer, and disable test mode. Then restart Windows and you'll be all set. 